Hey nerd family and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about how they could be selling off the CW. Before we get into that, I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro and I'll see you back here in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope everyone out there is staying safe and staying healthy. If you haven't already checked out the nerdcircle.com, make sure to head over there and check it out. Also, if you're not following along on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you can follow at Real Nerd Circle. Sometimes we post some things over there if it's not quite time for a video just yet. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure to check it out. And if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to do so, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. It definitely helps us out as we're trying to grow the channel here. And if you do like these videos, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps us out. It lets YouTube know who likes the videos and who to recommend them to next. Now, we definitely appreciate all the subscribers. If you are a new subscriber from the last video, you will find your name scrolling across the bottom. I do want to thank any of the new subscribers as you're continuing to help us grow. And you will notice your name scrolling across on the side of the screen for all the subscribers. I definitely want to thank all the subscribers as you're continuing to help us get to our next milestone of 500 subscribers. We are on our way there, and thanks again. All right, guys, so today we're just taking a quick look here with them potentially selling off the CW. Basically, with the whole um, merger going on between Warner Media and Discovery Plus. So for those of you that don't know, I've made a previous video about who owns CW. Make sure to go ahead and check it out for more information. But long story short of it, CW is owned by CBS, which is uh, now, of course, Paramount. And also Time Warner. That's where you get C and W from CBS and Time Warner. So They've been, you know, doing this for quite some time and, you know, everyone's got their own opinion. Some people think that they make really bad shows. I really like almost all their content here, but regardless, I think they make some good content. And, uh, so they're talking about selling it off here. There's not a whole lot of concrete information out there just yet, but we're going to kind of take a look at a little bit of it here today. Now I do want to just kind of make a little point out here that if they do not sell it off, if they decide for whatever reason to keep it, well, I do think there's going to have to be a name change because it's no longer CBS, it's now Paramount. So what does that mean it's going to become PW? Eh, I guess we'll see. Anyways, the way it kind of works behind the scenes is there's certain shows that are produced or made by uh, CBS, and then there's certain shows that are produced and or made by Time Warner. But unfortunately, most of those shows don't come over to CBS or over or Paramount or over to HBO Max. A lot of times you can find them on um, CW Seed, but now some of them have made their way over to the, their respective streaming platforms as of recently. But I think that's one of the biggest pain points. And I think that that's another reason that they're looking at kind of selling it off. So that way, you know, hopefully they can take what's theirs and, you know, kind of move on. Well, let's quickly take a look. So for those of you that don't know, so these are some of the trending shows that you're gonna see that are scrolling across here. Now I could tell you every show that I like, but we'd be here for a very long video because I like a lot of their shows and I, I could be a, you know, a minority there because there's a lot of people that complain about their shows, but I really do enjoy them. Um, I like a lot of the DC uh, related shows and I, I kind of like that some of the shows go into each other, but that can sometimes become annoying. If you fall behind, it becomes a little tedious to try to line everything up there. But besides the point, they, I think they make a lot of great DC shows and there's a lot of other ones as well. Um, so Naomi, if you guys haven't started Naomi, I did recently start that. I think it's pretty good. Um, my, my wife loves Riverdale. I haven't started it yet. Um, she likes Walker. I do want to start Kung Fu. I haven't started that yet. I don't know why I've never started Krypton. Uh, it just never was one that I watched, but I, I do watch almost every other DC show. And they've got so many other shows here. Um, these are just some of their ones that are trending, but you can see the CW Seed series here. 
there's just a lot of shows that I think are good and there's so many of them that I have yet to see that I probably like as well. Now that's not to say that every show that comes out on CW is good. Of course you're going to have some flops just like every other production company does but I think for the most part I think they put out a lot of great shows. One that I still have yet to see that I think I will like is the remake of Legends of the Hidden Temple. So I do have to check that out at some point. But they're always putting out some kind of new show. And it always looks good when you watch like the trailers and, and things like that. Um, I do want to see uh, Dead Pixels. I think that looks funny. So definitely I feel a lot of good shows. But that's just my opinion there. Alright, so let's take a look and see what they're currently talking about. All right, so here's the news we currently have. So we should be getting a lot more information at least uh, in the next couple of weeks here as the merger finally goes through. So, it, I mean, it could be tomorrow. It could be, you know, a week from now. It could be two weeks. We don't really know any, any concrete dates as of yet. But as that merger does go through, I think is when we're going to get more information about this happening here. Um, so we'll have to keep our eye on it there. But basically what they're talking about now is there's a company called Nexstar Media Group. They are the one that's probably looking at purchasing uh, the CW. So they're looking at purchasing a controlling share, but that would leave uh, Warner Brothers, Discovery, and Paramount as minority shareholders. So they would still produce the content for future CW shows. So uh, basically they're gonna produce the content, but not be the the full holders of CW because I think they're they're losing money like their shows are making money but they're not making enough because they own the full company so if they just become minority shareholders and produce the content it would be more profitable for them so next our media group is looking at purchasing now there are other there are other people that are looking at purchasing as well but I believe that from what uh, what they're saying is that um, next our is probably the most serious so what does that mean for the shows and uh, you know that they have? It's really hard to say what's going to exactly happen, but what I would hope that would happen is that any of the DC content uh, that they have, I would hope would move everything over eventually. I know it may take some time for contracts and stuff to end, but hopefully all the DC content would go over to whatever HBO Max becomes in the future. So that way you can find all your DC content in one place. And of course, anything that is CBS related uh, would go over to Paramount, hopefully. And if if the, the new company that owns CW, whatever they end up calling CW, if they change the name in the future, if they do have other production companies that come in and make stuff, then hopefully all that stuff would go to their respective streaming service. Or if they don't have one, then of course you could find that stuff over on CW Seed or you know whatever it might be. Maybe they would you know, put it out over on Hulu or something like that. And honestly, if what I just said doesn't happen, if they don't put all the DC stuff on HBO Max, and if, if all the CBS stuff doesn't go to Paramount, I would at least be happy if, you know, everything made it over to Hulu, just so that way you at least have a streaming service that you can find things on, instead of having to try to find stuff over on, on CW, which I know they have CW Seed, but it doesn't always make it easy to stream stuff. Um, it's not as you know as fluid or as easy as you know Hulu or HBO Max or Paramount Plus or anything like that. So I do hope that you know at the bare minimum, if if all the CW shows end up on Hulu, that would make things a bit easier. As of right now, things are just kind of scattered. Some things you can find on some services, some things you can you have to come over to CW for. So it just makes it a, a bit difficult currently. And now let's quickly just talk about. There are some new DC things in the pipeline. Nothing has been necessarily confirmed. Some things have been, but not everything's been confirmed. It's just uh, some of it's speculation, but just uh, to kind of talk about that there are a lot of things in the works right now. They are looking at a Batgirl uh, HBO Max original movie. So it's going to be kind of based on the, the Batman movie that just came out. They also are looking at the Batman spin-off about a Gotham City Police Department, a Green Lantern series and Strange Adventures, a series inspired by Justice League Dark characters, which looks like Constantine might possibly be getting another uh, new series or or kind of um, you know bringing it back to life. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work, but it does show some things with Constantine. There does appear to be a Black Canary movie that's in the works. 
they're continuing things like Pennyworth, Doom Patrol, Titans, if you're a fan of the Harley Quinn animated series, potentially looking into another Suicide Squad spinoff. It appears as though they have announced season two of Peacemaker. They're also looking at another The Batman spinoff, which is based around the Penguin character. And I know there's a few other things I, I saw as well that I'm just not seeing at the moment. So there definitely has a lot of potential uh, going on in the uh, pipeline for just DC alone, let alone, you know, any of these other uh, CW shows. So I definitely think there's a lot going on. And I think in the next couple of weeks, a uh, month or so, maybe we're going to get a lot more answers and know exactly what's going on. Hopefully it goes in our favor. So you guys got to let me know down below. Are you guys CW fans? Do you love the shows? Do you hate the shows? Uh, what are your thoughts? Do you think that, uh, you know, merging everything that's DC over into HBO Max is the best idea? Uh, you know, just let me know what you guys think down below and we'll kind of discuss it going forward. And of course, as more information comes out, I will make a future video. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. If there's anything that comes out that doesn't warrant a video just yet, I will post it over on social media. So make sure you head over to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Real Nerd Circle and follow along there. Of course, if there's anything that I forgot to mention, I'll leave it in the description down below. If there's anything that you noticed that I forgot, please make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And while you're down there, let me know your favorite CW TV series. But hopefully I was able to kind of let you guys know some, some information here in today's video, kind of let you know what's going on and what's going to happen with the CW. If you guys could share this video across any social media platform that you like. And if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps us out. It lets YouTube know who likes the videos and who to recommend them to next. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified of any new videos to come out. You can also follow the links on the screen to the older videos. And until next time, guys, stay nerdy.